everyone and welcome back. I'm Christine Cooper, the Saucy Seamstress. I had originally intended to take off two weeks um, from vlogging and YouTubing. That turned into four months. So here we go. My back to sewing project is a bib front Regency day dress. I had made one before, but there were certain parts of the pattern that I used, aspects of it that I didn't like, and so I wanted to make another one. First is the design process. I came up with some details and, and, and things that I wanted to incorporate. And I also found pattern pieces that I have already drafted that would work well for the stress. One design element that I wanted to incorporate is this tuck detail that would be on the bodice. And so I take a strip of fabric, um, pleat it, and then insert it. And you'll get to see the finished project in just a few minutes. I had decided that I needed to set um, small, manageable goals for myself. Um, it's been quite a time, and um, in May I started back to work in the office working toward in-person programs. I already also started the spring semester, and I found that my classes required more time than I had originally thought. And so it was a long way of saying I was burnt out, exhausted, and didn't even take pleasure in sewing. So I needed a fail-safe project, and that's why I'm making this one. I found some inspirational images uh, from Extents Online, and after creating the design, I had to set small goals, one of which being put the stays on my dress form, which is a pain in the butt. The next was to draft the pattern, cut out mock-up pieces, drape new pieces when needed, sew and fit the mock-up, um, adjust the pattern, cut out fabric, etc, etc. Um, here you can see me draping pieces, the bodice piece, um, not the bib part, but the actual bodice part. Um, I needed to drape a new one, the one that I had used previously. I did not like the shape of it, so this it, that was uh, a brand new piece, as was the bib. I worked on this dress primarily in the late evenings, sometimes on Saturdays. Um, after my other work had been completed, sometimes I took my sewing to work and sewed while on my breaks. Sometimes there would be a lecture or a video that I had to watch for class, so I would sew while I watched my lecture and video. Some days I didn't sew at all, because it needed to be a zero pressure project. Sometimes for the sake of our mental health, we need to let go of others' expectations or our own expectations of ourselves. And we need to give ourselves permission to let go for a minute and just rest. So back to the dress. I fitted the pieces uh, of my mock-up to my dress form. It is not the exact same size as me, so once it was sewn together, I did um, try it on myself and make adjustments. Um, my mock-ups I will sometimes sew on the sewing machine, which for this one I did because I really was excited and wanted to get started on the real thing. Now, here I am sewing my mock-up. I'm about to try to adjust a pillow that's behind me, and instead of adjusting the pillow, I moved the chair and fell on the floor. So, there you go. Now it is a continuing process, making sure that the mock-up works well. So it's trying it on the form, trying it on myself, not quite finishing everything, trying it on again, and making all of those little adjustments that need to be made. Now like I said earlier, I did recycle some pattern pieces that I already had, like the back, the sides, and the sleeves. The sleeves were actually from the overdress of my Miss Havisham dress. If you haven't watched that video, you can. Um, but I wanted them to be narrower, and so those took quite a bit of adjustment. And even when I cut them out of my fashion fabric, I still, um, I still narrowed them. Once I had my mock-up pieces ready, I cut them out of my fashion fabric and my linen lining. I used then the lining to do more adjusting and fitting, um, and then got to the real work of sewing everything together. The dress is um, 
100% hand sewn because that's just the way I like to do things. It's portable, I can take it with me anywhere, I can be where my family is, um, and hanging out and watching a movie or something, and um, be a part of life. But the point was to do a project that I was going to enjoy, but that was not something new to me, not something that would be, um, that, w that had a question mark at the end, whether or not it was going to work out. Now there are some things that I would adjust about this gown. Um, I had decided at the very end, when it was all but finished except for the hem, that I wanted to add two wide tucks at the bottom of the skirt. Here they are. Now the problem is, it would have been much more easily done and correct to add those tucks before I sew the skirt to the bodice. Um, so it was a little bit of a struggle, but I am happy with how it turned out. I've worn it once to a reenactment situation and it looks really good. I'm very happy with it. And it was just the project that I needed to get me back into sewing. So here's the thing. Cute microphone. Sounds terrible. I also have a cold, so I don't know that I can judge just yet. Um, but I wanted to thank you for watching this video. If you get to the end of these, I know I'm still learning and I've like forgotten everything that I had learned, you know, when I started. So I'm back at the beginning, which kind of sucks. Um, but I have a break for about a month and a half where with no class. So I'm hoping to get some projects completed and posted. My other problem wasn't just like, you know, busy and my mind being sort of overwhelmed. It was all like, everything was like not working. My camera wasn't working properly. My computer's not working properly. So just everything was harder and I just didn't want to deal with it. So here we go. Hopefully we can get things back to functional and um, can work out again. Stay tuned and um, here we go again.